today I got a 2006 Crown Victoria police interceptor model 4.6 liter V8 I have a code on my dash I'm gonna show you I already got a head start on what I'm about to show you guys but it's okay as you can see I do have my steering wheel basically uh, exposed and that is because cut that chime off for a second that's because I had a shifter cable to break and uh, when that broke I also replaced the uh, neutral safety switch or Ford calls transmission range selector very easy job hard part was it takes two people uh, one person to basically hold this cable right here while the other one is being mounted and ran under the vehicle to the transmission of course on the selector um, not a difficult job fairly easy I did OEM you know replacement I didn't do much of aftermarket the reason I did it my cable was stretched so um, yeah I drove to the store one day I tried to put the vehicle in park and she kept on rolling um, put the emergency brake on so she wouldn't roll cut the vehicle off one side got what I had to get and um, yeah when I came out well let's just say she wouldn't start so after uh, getting the towed home of course insurance paid for it good way if you guys have insurance on your vehicles which you should have especially in Virginia it's required uh, if your car breaks down get your insurance to do it don't pay for a tow you know but um, yeah had it towed to the house and uh, after a little bit of YouTube videos and looking on forums and Ford forums and trying to figure out what the problem was I actually it played around with like I said on this 2006 Ford Explorer there is a little dial let me see if I can't find it again oh, shit I don't remember um there's a little oh there it is that guy right back here I'll point to it this oh get my finger out of the way that dial right there like I said once again it's a 2006 Ford a Crown Victoria Police Interceptor but that dial adjusts to figure out if it's in park so that you know can register transmission in park so you can start it or neutral mine I thought was off but it wasn't so anyway long story short did that fix that today's issue though I have a code on my dash I'll show you so all my lights come on another issue too my uh, mileage doesn't show sometimes I can hit the dash you know come on illuminate but I know how to fix that now you saw it blinking already all right my airbag light it's blinking three pulses uh, with the pause in between another three and then it'll give me a chime of five times looking online on forums YouTube eBay uh, trying to figure out you know uh, who repairs it da 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 um, code 33 means a uh, seat belt pretensioner um, faulty circuit or you know a resistor something's bad in it I uh, looked online and uh, most of the time it said uh, it was the uh, driver side However, some forum said it was passenger side. Me, myself, I'm going to test the circuits both. I'm not going to show you both in this video. You know, test them. You can find the videos on YouTube like I did on how to test them. But I'm going to remove the uh, seatbelt pretensioner, basically. Seatbelt buckle and the harness and disconnect it and um, pull it out and test it. See if it's bad. Mine did say driver side. Hooked my scanner up to it and it did say driver. And they said that's the most common one to go bad however i am going to test both but if the driver one you know obviously shows um a, a negative read on the on the, on the multimeter or uh, on meter um then i'm going to replace it there's the chimes i was talking about it's going to do five that's three that's four that's five okay that's what it do to blink uh like i said intervals one two three pause then another three one two three and then after that uh, the light stays on so I found out what the issue is I am going to remove it you know, right now I have the rear bolts out I can't really show you a little, show you a little bit a little rust back there I don't know how to clean that up and you know sand down and uh, clean it out okay sorry about that guys my uh, cousin came up to me yeah redskin fan I know um, yeah she I had a couple questions so sorry I had to pause it but uh I'm going to go back and make that edit. Um, I think I will. I don't know how to do that. Anyway, got the seat taken off. Um, here's what you're looking for. There's two connectors. I've seen a video. Uh, 
guy tested these you know there's a little clamp in there you know pull it out test it with the uh, multimeter i'm gonna do that but anyway i'm about to unbutt unbuckle the uh seat belt right back here i gotta um pop it off i got a three-fourths on it and uh using a three eight ratchet uh good to fit in there but after you take the seat out you know you got multiple bolts two bolts in the front they're the same size i believe they are a let's see half inch um and i'm gonna pop that out take the seat belt out and go back there and uh you know test it i will let you guys know here in a second i'm gonna pause her again all right came back right quick uh let's see um there was a oh, looks like that's my problem right there well looks like i found a problem guys i got a bent slash splice wire right there uh well that might be my solution might not have to spray or clean her out and test it i might see but anyway your seat belt there's a little bolt back there let's see if i show you excuse the mess in the mind but right here it's a little bolt it sits on i'm tapping it right there it sits on goes up through the seat anyway this connector right here plugs into this connector runs under your seat like I said four bolt easy job easy job very easy job well I'm on right now I think I have found my issue look at that guys let me see if I can get it focus come on focus baby Fo there up oh, up oh, you're almost focused focus 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 I'll back her up some anyway as you can see a little bit I guess you can see but I have a splice wire there on basically from the seat rocking back and forth like she tore through the boot oh man oh man well that just me might be my problem right there well I might be done for we're gonna see here oh man all right well I looked online ah, let's see. looked online and a uh I found a service that repairs these. Unfortunately, I'm not that good electrical. So I'm probably going to end up sending this bad boy in and have them run a new wire. It doesn't look that bad. Maybe I can hit it with some a good... Uh, I don't want to solder that. Right, as you can see, guys, I have no idea how to fix this. Anybody has any input, uh, please leave it in the comments on what I could do to fix this problem the wires don't look i wish my camera would focus but the wires don't look as bad uh, it's just more of a i'm trying to get to focus it doesn't focus worth a shit so how did you use your phone to make a youtube video anyway they don't look as bad they don't look torn broken that bad um Man, I might just try and hit it with some electrical tape and plug her back in and see if it makes code go off. Clear it with my scanner and see if it comes back on. Alright, look forward to uh, my part 2 video on this fix on the uh, seatbelt pretensioner uh, replacement slash fix. Thank you for watching. Look forward to part 2. Daily Grind.